What's going on? We back. Martyr City Sports Talk. We in the building. Appreciate everybody for checking in one time for the one time. Make sure you subscribe button. Hit the bell icon button. We'll miss another video. And uh, it's the finale. All right? It's the finale. <laughs> End of the season. The Lions can get up to the number two pick. We talked about that the other day. Um, and we're going into Lambeau to end the season. Nothing on the line for the Green Bay Packers, but Aaron Rodgers will play. All reports indicate that Matthew Stafford after being benched at the end of the game last, yeah, last week uh, against the Vikings will play, and they will duke it out at Lambeau. Probably going to be cold, as we already know. And um, Green Bay went into overtime last week with the Jets. They struggled with the Jets. I mean, Sam Darnold had a big, big, big day. I mean, Robbie Anderson, the receiver, had a big day. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, Stafford did get outplayed by Darnold already. But the Green Bay Packers team is falling apart. Um, just as the Lions have fallen apart, Aaron Rodgers said he wanted Joe Philbin, ex-Miami Dolphin head coach, to continue to be the head coach for the Green Bay Packers. Right now, he's coming in as an interim coach. Uh, they lost Aaron Jones. They, they traded Ty Montgomery, so they're down to the Williams kid. Jamal Williams, I think his name is. Uh, still got Adams, and Jimmy Graham really ain't done much. Um, I mean, losing uh, Jordy Nelson was huge for them, and also, you know, Aaron Rodgers haven't been healthy. So we lost, we beat them in week week five, I think it was, 31-23. to They kicked across. We missed like several field goals. And Green Bay made a late charge in the second half um, to try to come back. Stafford didn't do much. He didn't throw that many yards. It was basically the defense and um, special teams, you know, doing their thing for the most part. They did just enough to defeat uh, Rodgers. They don't have carry on this time around. And, um, you know, it is what it is, man. Like I said, it's a meaningless game. It's for draft position. Both starting quarterbacks going out there, earning the bacon, I would guess. Um, both, you know, get big, big money. You know, Aaron Rodgers chose to, you know, get big money instead of taking a sacrifice and trusting the Packers to spend free agent money, which they didn't do under Ted Thompson. He moves on to a different position in the organization. They got a new GM who did try to go out there and spend some money. This offseason didn't work out. Muhammad Wilkinson got injured, and Jimmy Graham just hasn't paid off. And they didn't want to retain Jordy Nelson, who seems like he got some juice in the tank with, with Oakland. But, um, you know, if it was, if this was in a dome or in a warm weather area, this would probably be um, somewhat of a shootout. Um, but it's I think it's going to be, um, I think, two quarterbacks playing loose. Aaron Rodgers trying to protect his interception ratio, which he shouldn't even have been um, in the Pro Bowl. You know what I'm saying? But... Like I said before, uh, you know, this is a game that neither one of these teams really want to win, but both are competitive. Um, Aaron Rodgers haven't had – I don't think he has had a losing season in the in NFL yet, man. So, uh, not why he was healthy for the majority of the game. So, um, you know, it's a tough one to even, you know, figure out, you know. But I think Green Bay got more available talent, at least offensively. Um, you know, so – but, yeah, man, I think, you know, Green Bay is going to try to throw the ball around. I think they're going to have success. The Lions just don't have the cornerbacks or they don't have the safety to do it, man. For the most part, Glover Quinn is just lost in the system. Even Tavon Wilson, outside of Terrell Austin's system, has been lost in this system of Matt Patricia, um, you know, that he was used to. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you don't have Ziggy. You don't have Deshaun Hain. You still got Snacks Harrison. Um, you know, Wakwa and how you pronounce his name. I think Devin Kennard is still out there. Um, so I don't think the run, I think the Lions will be able to shut down the run again this week. Um, they've been doing pretty well against the run since David Harrison got here. I think, uh, you know, Green Bay, they lost two of their running backs, trade, uh, lost Aaron Jones, traded Ty Montgomery. So they got Williams and probably some other people off the practice squad. But, um, you know, Lions could just worry about, you know, double teaming. Devontae Adams and and or double teaming Cobb in the slot, letting uh, Darius Slay handle Devontae Adams, and I just blitz like I'm crazy on Aaron Rodgers, man. I make them dudes beat me, you know what I'm saying? I blitz like I'm crazy. I don't have I can play the I can play for the first time. They could just play the run on the way to the pass. You got to worry about Jamal Williams going crazy. I don't pretty much uh, think, but he he is a factor in the receiving game as well. But uh, that's to be the defensive plan for me, you know what I'm saying? Um, just you know, a lot of blitzes, a lot of pressures. I double team either Adams and put you know Slay on Cobb, or double team Slay uh, Cobb and put uh, Slay on Adams. 
and I'll let anybody else like sorry Jimmy Graham beat me. Um, you know, for Green Bay, I kind of get some tips to them. Uh, defensively for Green Bay, it's basically I would just pressure Stafford. You know, same same philosophy. Send pressure Stafford, beat him up, make them pull Stafford out the game because they will just to save him. Um, excuse me, they will to save him. So um, that's what I do, pressure. I ain't got to worry about nobody running. I can worry, you know, even if they're already catching out the backfield, he's slow with his potato salad. Um, and that's it. I ain't got to worry about nobody out there beating me. I double-team Kenny Galladay, and I man up or, you know, just zone up everybody else. And I send, and I just, you know, I just blitz. You know, I send blitz every time. And with the whole right side of the line basically, you know, not being starters, I'm pretty sure Green Bay can knock Stafford out the game or at least hurt him. Offensively for Green Bay, and I end off with the Lions offensively. Um, you know, spread them out. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, run the ball a little bit, you know. Um, and then, you know, I'm throwing the ball around, you know. Um, going deep, doing a lot of slants, you know, wheel routes, um, post routes, you know, post corner routes, double moves on on my uh, on, on Ford and, and the rest of the cornerbacks out there. I'm, I'm getting the linebackers on, you know, receivers. I'm trying to get linebackers on on. Jamal Williams out the backfield on Texas routes, option routes. And that's how we rock it, man. I'm just spreading the ball around, exposing the lack of um, uh, defensive backs they got with the Lions. And, you know, at the end of the day, that's just what I'm doing because I'm not going to run the ball against this good run defense unless I spread it out. You know what I'm saying? Um, and and that's, the, that's, that's how I'm rocking for Green Bay for the Lions. Um, basically, it's max protection. You know, run the ball a lot. Um and, and try to, you know, scheme to get Kenny Galladay, um, you know, free releases off the line, you know what I'm saying, put him in motion, put him in the bunch, bunch concepts, um, you know, um, and, you know, put him in motion, just stuff of that nature, you know, I'm scheming to get him open. And I'm, I'm trying to find ways to find, lose my, use my tight ends, get Luke Wilson down the field because they have yet to use his ability to stretch the field, and that's because Jim Bob Cooter lacks the ability to know how to use uh, tight ends. He don't know how to run the ball. Um, and that's what I'm doing. I'm max protecting a lot, keeping the tight end in. I'm running the ball, running the ball, you know, play action, you know, um, tossing to the backs and the flats. I'm keeping everything simple. I'm not going deep. Um, I'm just going to continue to protect Stafford, keep everything short and intermediate routes. Um, you know, and that's just what it is. I'm protecting Stafford. And that's what they've been doing the last few weeks since all their offensive weapons have went down. Carry on Marvin Jones and Golden Tate Tate is gone. Um, it's about protecting Stafford, getting Stafford out of the healthy. And ideally, I would love for them to sit Stafford, but understand that he got to earn his hundred and twenty-five million dollars, whatever you're being paid, um, contract, and that's how they're gonna rock. So, that's just my personal opinion. Um, you know, so you know, this is be a solid game, man. Um, it won't be a game that nobody really paying attention to because they don't have any playoff implications. You know, you got Cleveland, Baltimore, they got playoff implications for Pittsburgh. You got Tennessee and. Indianapolis and the Houston game, they got playoff implications. You got the Raiders and Chiefs game, Patriots and Jets game, both implications for who's going to be the number one seed in the NFC, um, Vikings, and whoever the hell else, you know. Um, and we do a playoff preview, or you can check out my other channel, Goodfellow Sports TV. Um, and we do a playoff preview, probably on this channel and that channel. But um, obviously, I think it's going to be Packers 28, Lions 13. I think Stafford's going to get pulled. From this game, sometime in the third quarter, um, and, and it's a possibility you can see Aaron Rodgers take some hits and get pulled from this game as well. Um, I think one of the quarterbacks is not going to finish the game, and I think it's more likely going to be Matthew Stafford because he's on the road in the cold, and um, you know, hopefully, you know they you know they lose this game. It's, the Lions can, it's got the number five pick right now; they can finish high as two. I think it's going to be more of a four or three spot. They move up one or two spots, or possibly stay the same. I think we need that. Hopefully, it's some hot shot quarterback. Somebody want to move up, get a quarterback, mortgage their future on a quarterback. We can move back, get a whole bunch of picks this year, some picks next year. Got to be the ideal thing for me and build the talent depth level back up. But, um, but yeah, I got the, the Packers 28, Lions 13. I think Stafford get pulled sometime in the second half. And possibly Rodgers get pulled as well. That's just my personal opinion. Um, good field sports team. Mortar City Sports Talk. <laughs> Appreciate everybody for checking in, man. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Reach out to me the email. We'll make a donation to the channel. Appreciate it, but I got Packers 28, Lions 13, 
end of the season. Then the off season uh, talk starts. We out.